Big Dad Pacino here, show and tell, number 75. Wow, this is a milestone moment. This is the 75th video for the show and tell series, which I have done other videos before. I made up pretty much concept for show and tell. It was just a title that I used and it has become so much of a concept even to the fact that somebody tried to copy it on another channel but you know they say imitation is the surest form of flattery so I have to take that in stride they didn't even do it right anyway they didn't even know how to spell it or, or kind of capitalize it like I do and I'm not bragging because this is a small channel and this person they had thousands of viewers thousands of subscribers but that just goes to show I might be doing something right and I'm glad that I got subscribers I got hopefully we get to hot to uh I guess uh better bigger and better things but for now we we just showing a little love to the diecast. That's the model. Uh, Monday, I had a chance to uh, go to uh, Target because I had to return some shoes. I really wanted to go to Walmart, <laughs> but since I have a training exercise, I don't know if I'll be able to go to Walmart. If I do, I probably have to do it probably Friday no I can't I can't do it Friday either because I'm supposed to have that team supposed to be working on a computer so I don't know what I'm going to do as far as that I can always order cars man so it is what it is can't die cast all the time I thought it was going to really pulled down yesterday. I could have really went to Walmart, but oh well. Uh, at least I did get to go to Target, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, like I said, I went to Target. They had some new models out, or some ones I haven't seen. Of course, I said everything was pushed back in previous videos. My Target is slow anyway, so it's always at least two cases behind now i think it's at least three to four cases behind uh they had some red editions there they usually come out around christmas or january usually around january january yeah the new year but we had these 68 shelby gt 500 which is a red edition and it's from the uh well they don't say what they are anymore they just red editions so that's interesting we got this uh oh I'm gonna put put some aside and I'm gonna throw these to the side because to make room so we saw this red edition Shelby GT 500 red flames on it. it's white metallic like wheels red interior cool. and then we got a uh, Porsche Panamera Turbo SE hybrid sport Turismo from the Porsche series is blue with blue rims. I don't think I have this one. I'm hoping I don't have this one. I don't remember having this one, so. Get my bag right here straight. Make some room. Next, we have the Batcopter, which has been out for a while, but like I said, I'm way behind. At least my locations are Batcopter for the Batman series, which is pretty cool. 
As I collect and it sees the bat from uh, Batman series, previous Batman series. And, uh, is that a Batmobile? You see the Batmobile right there. Uh, Dusty. And another Batmobile. I have a couple of them. I just don't have them all on display on the desk right now. Some of them are on display in my bedroom. Others are put put up. Back up is kind of cool. Though. This Dachshund 620 from HW Hot Truck Series because it's got Dachshund trimmed out in it and it has a JDM's Legends logo up there. Of course, JDM Legends is a uh, is a popular shop. They also have uh, a YouTube series. And their website is popping. They're well known. Hot Wheels has done several cars involving them. I think uh, the uh, box skyline from the 70s. And I want to say something else too. A couple of, a couple of cars. Of course they had the JDM Legends uh, set. And they had... What else did they have? They had a uh, diorama set. They done a, a lot of stuff with JDM Legends. And the Mazda RX-7, I think an 85, was kind of based on that. Kind of based on the black one with gold and red. So that's cool. You know, I have an M2 with the same truck casting or similar truck casting. Sitting on real tires with with uh tail lights and everything, but it's still stuck to that base. So I don't know if the screws are stripped or whatever. I stopped messing with it. So that's probably a better truck. Got this custom auto red edition, which the custom auto is it used to be the car that used to be featured on the old logo for Hot Wheels. And it, it's kind of like a char, it looked like a Mopar, it looked like a Charger meets a GTO. It's, it's got really a muscular shape, really 60s look. So it's, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Next, we got this uh, 69 Camaro. I hope I didn't pick this up before. I think I did. I know I've seen it before, but I don't think I picked it up. Hopefully, I did. This is from the HW Roaster series. By now, I have green light Camaros that's convertible. They're more realistic, so probably like close to like maybe when I started collecting again, like maybe 10 years ago, I was them like, wow, this is hot. Now I'm like, yeah, it's okay. It is what it is. Scale-wise, it's awful, to be honest. It's a hot wheel, so. To show just how behind my location is, I think last video I showed the Flying Customs. They have a second series already out. And I don't know if this is, this is saying 2019 too. So I don't know if they plan to release them at the same time or what. But um, this is a whole different series from the first series that I showed in the other video. And this series 
because the first series had the Datsun 510 and the uh, Skyline that I didn't find. This one is whole different. So we got the uh, Volkswagen Caddy, which I have in my hand. And it's a pretty cool Volkswagen truck. I like the bed, the, the contrast with the yellow and green is cool. So found a uh, custom Vega. I think the only ones I didn't see are the Mini Cooper. I saw the Boulevard Buster. I didn't, and of course it was a Nissan in there, 180. SX Type S and that was probably the first thing snatched so I don't know if I have a hoarder I think I have a hoarder that works there because it's too much stuff getting snatched before it reaches the floor it seems like custom V8 Vega pretty cool design I'm looking for a Vega too. I'm looking for a Vega even green like a Johnny like. Very hard car to find. A lot of old collectors like them. I like the interior on this. It's like a pretty much a premium Hot Wheels. It's like the low car culture. The old Hot Wheels, I think that's what it is. It would be like a, uh, I guess a regular treasure hunt. This is a two, 2015 Ford Mustang GT. Again, cool design, but. So, only, and that's the Ford Torino. So the only ones we're missing is the Mini Cooper. I didn't see the Chevy C10, which is a popular model, the Nissan, and the Mini Cooper. So, we got four out of three, four out of seven. Is that seven? No, it's actually eight. So, I'm missing the other four. It's in the Mini Cooper, the Chevy C10, the Nissan, and the Mini Cooper, the Nissan, and the. I didn't want the Boulevard Bruce. I had a chance to get it, I didn't get it. The 74 Torino. Because I do not like fantasy castings that much, so. Uh, when I got home, by the time I got home in the afternoon, because I had left, I left, thought I left kind of late, but I came home, reasonable time, I came home before 3 o'clock, so I was doing what I do at the shopping center, I think I got there about 1 o'clock, I left around 12 something, so it wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. Did what I got to do, I turned my shoes, and these were waking on, waiting on me when I came back. And I had ordered these a while, they had took a while. So some tell me I better order some cars while I came. Because depending on where they come from, it might take a while. And these came from the West Coast. I try to order something near me, like in from Georgia, or either, well Georgia is a hot spot, or either North Carolina, but I don't know. Uh, most of the time, a lot of stuff comes from the West Coast. Texas would probably be a good spot to order stuff on too. But uh, this, got this Camaro because last week I got that Camaro. I have a lot of late 60s Camaros. So I was like, man, I need an early 70s Camaro. 
Uh, I got the late 70s Camaro. Still looking for an IROC Z from the 80s. Uh, got this Camaro. It is Johnny Lightning. And it's a 50th anniversary version of the Camaro 1967 to 2017. Which means this is three years old. At the time, this color was, um, at that year, was one of 2,980 units produced. The toy was. As usual, and this is the color. It's citrus green poly. Nice details on the wheels. It's got white leather tire, Firestones for a change. Is that Firestone? Well, like, yeah, Firestone. I think that's Firestone. Which is weird because it's usually BF Good Wrench or Good Year. Uh, look at the back. This is what you could have got in 19 Classic Gold Collection 2017 release 4. It was a 69 Camaro SS. I got plenty of those, even though I do need a hard top. Um, I got a 1970 Chevy Camaro RSSS, which I think that's what's in my hand. It doesn't say. Yeah, that's what's in my hand. They have a 1977 Camaro Z28, which I think this is. This is a Z28, but it's not. This was a 2018, and they had a, uh, that's a used car. So that's a whole different Johnny Lightning series. And this is, uh, they also had a, a 1970 Shelby GT500, which is weird, because I didn't know they made GT500 in 1970. I thought they made a stock in 1969. And a 1980 Toyota Land Cruiser. That would be cool, don't know. And a 2010 Dodge Challenger RT. And they have a collector's club. They kind of had their own version of ROC. I didn't know that. And they show you get what you get with the collector's club. Probably got to pay a fee. I like that case though, it's cool. And they talk about white lightnings, I never found one. Those are the ones with the white wheels. Usually. White wheels, all white, I guess. Usually white wheels, that's an indication you got a, a, a white lightning. Which I think kind of corny. Some people like the white lightnings. But I'd rather have a, a a green, white, and green machine where the base is metallic green or the wheels are metallic green. I think Johnny Lightning's sister, sister uh, company, I think uh, Auto World, they have ultra reds, I think. I think they have ultra reds. Yeah. With the, the uh, the paint is, is is metallic red. Next, we got this uh, Johnny Lightning Chevrolet Nova, which I already found out had a blue one. So we're gonna compare it when we get a chance. And this is 2017 too. Uh, it's three years old, hobby exclusive. And like I said before, Johnny Lightning's distribution is is sounds like it's. It's awful. I think they gotten better in a couple past years because now they even have a little YouTube channel where they show you the new uh, releases and stuff and interact more with the public. But, you know, round two, man. Most, I guess, most hobby shots feel like uh, we let it out when we let out. I think you have to be in a real hot spot 
for a die cast um, call culture. Like like I said, North Carolina, my Miami, Los Angeles, uh, I should say the whole state of Florida, not just Miami. Georgia, another hot place for car culture. Um, yeah, mainly West Coast, Texas. Here, it's not even looked upon. Action figures and stuff, they feel like that sells more. That stupid fuku pop stuff turns up everywhere. And this is a Madrea, Madrea Malone Carly. And this is a six, 1965 Chevy Nova SS. This is pretty sweet. I want to do the hood open on this. I already have a light bluish, close to kind of bluish, grayish type model. And I'm going to compare when I get a chance, probably in the next video. Do odds and ends because I'm not gonna do it here. You know, I got some models I could show. We'll leave that for another video. Yeah, we have from previous videos. And in night 2017 release two, which this is release two, I guess. 1971 Chevy Monte Carlo. You had a 1965 Chevy Nova SS, 2001 Pontiac Firebird. 1969 Chevy Camaro RS SS, which was right here. The other car, you see it right there in the picture that I just showed. 1970 Mercury Montego MX. I'm thinking about getting that Mercury Montego. I've seen it before. In 1969, Ford Mustang Watchman. That 19, that 2001 Pontiac Firebird is ugly. How they do that? Is that supposed to be flames? Yeah. Anyhow, I had a 1969, well, this, this is a 429 right here. Different car, same year, different car. And a Ford Mustang March 1. I get the March 1. It's got that flat black uh, hood. Yeah. They say what this is. And at, in 2017, this was one of, of 1,800. Wow, that's a low number. Wow. So it's an oldie but goodie. A good addition to the collection and that's pretty much it man I'm gonna show you the cars from the last haul we're gonna do an odds and ends on them and I think I have someone some I can compare and we're gonna do that on the next video so until next time I want to thank the uh, random viewers hopefully you hit the subscribe and notification buttons uh, so you can be notified of the newest content and for the subscribers I want to thank you for taking time out of your schedule and you know the motto show a little love to the diecast Big Dapuccino signing off peace and blessings